the Grand Canyon in Arizona is bigger than the state of Rhode Island. You could even fit the whole of Manhattan in there. It's so massive, it kind of has its own weather. But the Grand Canyon isn't the only big crack out there. The Valles Marineris is bigger, way bigger. It's on Mars, and it goes nearly a quarter of the way round the planet. It's 10 times as long as the Grand Canyon, and it's so deep, you could parachute into it. The Kesai Valles is also on Mars. It's made up of a series of canyons, and it might be the ancient home of a massive Mars flood. There are huge canals and canyons all over the Red Planet. There's Tiu Valles. That's where researchers think there was an epic battle between ancient Martian water and boiling hot volcanic lava. Guess we know who won that one. Equally impressive is Ares Valles. It's the longest known drainage system around. It might be weird to think of Mars as having huge waterways, rivers, and floodplains, but in its early days, Mars might have had a warm and wet climate. Now it's just dried up canyons as far as the eye can see. The Ithaca Chasma looks like a giant scar on Saturn's moon Tethys. It's four times longer than the Grand Canyon and about three times as deep. And it's billions of years old. No one's been kayaking there yet. We've only seen a photo of it thanks to the spacecraft Voyager 1. Mercury's Great Valley makes the Grand Canyon look like a tiny pothole. NASA's Messenger spacecraft was the first to snap some photos of this massive formation. The valley's surrounded by two giant somethings, the Enterprise and Belgica, whatever that means. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, has a canyon named Argo Chasma, and it's huge. Even though Pluto's not called a planet anymore, it can still brag about its huge canyon. Even right here on Earth, the Grand Canyon has some serious rivals. Yarlung Tsangpo Canyon is the deepest canyon on Earth. It's in the Himalayas, in Tibet. Some people call it the Everest of Canyons. You could fit a 2,000-story building in it. The Indus River Gorge is big and gnarly. It's in Pakistan, and you could stack three football fields inside it. The Indus River, one of the largest rivers in Asia, passes through it, and it's even home to baleen whales and porpoises. The Colca Canyon in Peru is a short but insanely bumpy bus ride away from Machu Picchu. It's the massive home for the largest flying bird in the world, the Andean condor. It has a wingspan of 10 feet. In Nepal, where the Himalayas are, is the spectacular Kali Gandaki Gorge. No one knows exactly how far down it goes, but it's probably around five times as deep as the Grand Canyon. It's got it all. Crazy terrain, thin air, and it's in the middle of nowhere. So beware, only experienced hikers should dare go in. The Copper Canyon in northern Mexico is home to a world-famous group of people who run marathons, or even double marathons, just for fun. There are six canyons all joined together, and in its widest part are two of Mexico's tallest waterfalls. Copper Canyon also has one of the longest zip lines in the world, and one of the scariest train rides you'll ever take. And don't look down. Even in the US, there's a lesser known canyon that's deeper than the Grand Canyon. It's Hell's Canyon. And it's sort of on the border between Oregon and Idaho. It was carved out by the Snake River. Hell's Canyon is home to the Seven Devils mountain range. The King's Canyon is in the Yosemite National Park area. It's about one and a half times as deep as the Grand Canyon. Nearby is the second largest tree on Earth, General Grant. The largest canyon in Australia is the Caperty Canyon, and you can get paid to go there. Eh, sort of. A few lucky cyclists and campers over the years have found gemstones on the banks of the Caperty River. If you're lucky, you'll also see some 2,000-year-old rock art. The Tiger Leaping Gorge is right out of a fairy tale, but it's very real, very deep, and pretty scary. 
the legend says that a tiger was being chased and it leapt over the river at the bottom of the gorge with a little help from a perfectly placed rock right in the middle of the river. The Great Rift Valley is 15 times longer than the Grand Canyon. So what, that's like a trillion miles long? It goes through two continents and is home to about 30 lakes. It's even visible from outer space. So if you're ever floating out there in the cosmos, keep an eye out for it. The Kota Hawasi Canyon is deep, very deep. It has extreme rafting, kayaking, and hiking. And apparently the mosquitoes are pretty extreme too. There's one canyon in Tibet that I'm pretty sure holds a world record. Try looking up the Polong Tsangpo Canyon. No images pop up. It's 2021, that's insane. What's down there? Yeah, probably just a river and stuff. Colombia's Chicamoca Canyon is pretty much as deep as the Grand Canyon. Extreme sports own this place. Zip lining, canoeing, paragliding. Heck, even their cable car is extreme. It's a 25 minute ride and it's steep. Under Greenland is the Greenland Grand Canyon and it goes for hundreds and hundreds of miles. Water from melting icebergs runs through the canyon. It was actually NASA who discovered it. There's an absolutely massive canyon in Antarctica. The only problem, you can't see it. But apparently, it's freezing cold and mostly white. The sea has some mighty canyons too. The Zemchuk Canyon is one of the biggest underwater canyons. It's right off the coast of Alaska and it's home to seals, dolphins, and whales. The deepest underwater canyon is about six times as deep as the Grand Canyon. It's the famous Mariana Trench. Make it to the bottom and you'll break the world record for deepest dive ever. The Grand Bahama Canyon is another underwater marvel. You could just keep dropping Empire State Buildings in there and you'd never see them on the surface. Monterey Bay is pretty laid back, but its canyon is anything but. There's lanternfish, squid, sea turtles, rockfish, and sea otters all hanging out together. Oh, and thousands of jellyfish, so take care not to get stung too much. There's also giant kelp around there, a seaweed that can grow up to 100 feet long. The Hudson Canyon runs from the New York Harbor right into the sea, and it's gross. Sure, it has deep sea coral and sponge formations, but it also has a whole bunch of trash and sewagey sludge coating the bottom. The Aviles Canyon is off the coast of Spain. It's one of the deepest underwater canyons in the world, and it's one of the few places where giant squid live. It's famous for its white coral and the fact that it's insanely cold. Bremer Canyon in Australia is underwater, massive, and dangerous, especially if you're a giant squid. That's the favorite snack of the local orca, the huge whale with a monster appetite. Bremer Canyon's a major tourist destination these days, especially for those looking to snap a pic of the more than 100 orcas that call it home. The Nazare Canyon is near Portugal. It's the largest submarine canyon in Europe, and it's around three miles deep. That's six of the world's tallest buildings. It forms high breaking waves, so it's become a haven for big wave surfers. The Canadian Arctic Rift System is huge. It goes all the way from the Labrador Sea to the Arctic Archipelago, and it connects the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans. So picture this. Greenland used to be smashed up against Canada some millions of years ago. Thanks to this rift system, Greenland's been slowly drifting away. Think how huge Canada would be if you added Greenland onto it. <laughs>